Hey guys, I got this MacBook Air with M2 chip today, and this video is mainly to uh, demonstrate how this tiny but powerful laptop can run all the traditional x86 or um, x64 Windows programs. Um, the best emulator software to connect the Apple Silicon chips, I mean M1 and M2 families, with x86, x64 program, um, I believe everyone agrees with that, is the Parallel Desktop. So let's just um, take a look at this app. You need to download this, install it, activate it, or you actually can try it before the purchase. I have purchased, you don't need the fancy business or enterprise version, just the basic parallel desktop version is good enough. I think that's the pro version. And now let's just confirm the hardware I have here. It's a MacBook Air 20, oh, 2022 with 16 gig memory and uh, 512 gig SSD and uh, 16 gig memory. Um, I got 16 gig because I know I'm gonna run some emulation on it for the Windows apps. Um, the display, uh, as you can see, I have two external monitors here. And that's because I do need two external monitors to do my work. I cannot work on one screen. I'll explain how to use the multiple external monitors later. And because there is the puzzle, puzzle from Apple's official tech specs that says any M1 or M2 MacBook Air can only connect to up to one external monitor, but that's not true. I'll show you how I can connect to multiple external monitors. So let's go to the main focus for today. After you have downloaded, installed this parallel desktop app, it will ask you um, if you want to download the newest Windows 11, just say yes, and it will download the ARM-based Windows 11 for you. The only thing that needs your input is this Windows 11 does not get activated yet. So you need to key in your own license number to make it work better. But for this demo, I mean demo video, that's good enough. And uh, when you have installed the Windows and everything, Boom is here. It just runs smoothly. And uh, let me just go to the uh, about here. And uh, I'm in the traditional Windows window mode. I can actually switch to the coherence mode, which is my favorite. I believe everyone loves coherence mode because that makes you think, makes you feel you just run the Windows apps on the Mac system directly, which is pretty much true. So when I have that coherence mode activated, what I can do here is like to click on the start button. I have one, and then I want to run some Windows, traditional Windows, up on it. Well, if you used to work with this text prep application, you know it does have a very slow startup. But um, after it's the startup is done, it's pretty much running with no problem at all, uh, and the speed is fast. That's also why I use two external monitor because believe it or not, any productivity software like this one, it looks much better on a vertical screen like, like this. Like this, this is my setup. This is my original MacBook Air M2. This is one external monitor and this is the other one I made it vertical. And to Realize the connection to the multiple external monitors. Let's let's go to um, Amazon. Let me show you my um, my purchase. This is the USB-C docking station I purchased many times. It does the work, but it does not work with my 
2019 MacBook Pro, the Intel one, slow and noisy Intel one very well because it only has 60 watt power um, this delivery. The 2019 MacBook Pro needs more than that. And I think actually it's proved this one does the better job because this one has 100 watt uh, charging. But this guy, I think it works perfectly with the M2 already. So don't bother to purchase the more expensive one. The idea of using this kind of dock is that um, you connect everything with the docking station, like monitors, printer, network cable, peripherals, like your mouse keyboard if they're wired, and only one USB-C cable to the laptop. That's all. One Cable does everything, including power charging. And um, speaking of MacBook accessories, I also recommend uh, this type of adapters on the go. I always keep one in my laptop bag, just in case I, I need this one on the way. And uh, for MacBook accessories, oh, at last, I'll recommend this stand um, so that my MacBook can be aligned with the middle main monitor I have here, like this way. And that's all because the MacBook laptops, they can be extended like 100 degrees, like the ThinkPad. So for ThinkPad, you can get this type of stand a little bit cheaper, but for MacBook, you have to get this one. And that's pretty much everything I want to talk about today. As a summary, the MacBook Pro or Air, whatever with M1, M2 families, has no problem at all to run the traditional Windows app uh, with help from parallel parallel desktop. And um, now the, the, it's proof it works. It works, it's fast, and now you can start thinking about to ditch your purchase order to those big Windows laptop makers and try the Apple one. All right, bye for now, guys.